this video is later than I wanted it to be because the spin cycle is really loud. Another episode of Makeup Rules where we talk about stuff that's going on in the beauty community, trends, things of the like, and we talk about it and decide whether what kind of like if it's like a trend, what kind of skin type it would work for. If it's a thing that's going on, we open a discussion, hopefully a civilized one the way today's going. Uh, but yeah, today I wanted to talk to you guys about what makes a product cruelty free and the different kind of levels of cruelty free depending on how into that you are. Um, man, so let's just jump into that. Uh, the, the one thing I, I highly want to make sure that you guys really focus on here is that just because something is cruelty free does not mean it's vegan. Which seems to be a misconception um, when I was looking through a bunch of different forums. When this originally happened, I've kind of been away from the channel, but I have been stalking Facebook because that's, that's apparently my crack addiction or something, I don't know. Um, but because a product is cruelty free does not mean it's vegan. If it has any kind of animal byproduct in it, that automatically makes it for the vegan part. Um, but back to the cruelty free part, that's a thing for another video. Um, if the product is cruelty free, that means it's not tested on animals. Um, and I know some of you are saying, duh, but some people don't know that, so we're just throwing that out there. Um, as far as, I already wrote my blog post on this, so let's have a coherent kind of video today. Um, so as far as what makes a product cruelty free, it's actually pretty simple. It's not tested on animals. The kind of complicated part is when you get into more the business side of makeup as opposed to the fun glitter side because most of the big companies um, that you hear a lot about like um, Urban Decay, Smashbox, Makeup Forever, things like that, they're all owned by parent companies. So it's not necessarily Urban Decay that's calling the shots all the time. Um, it's this other brand that's most of the time giving them money so they can, you know, have the money for bigger um, ventures like going into new markets um, so some people have an issue with that when it comes to the cruelty free argument um, saying like L'Oreal or Estee Lauder they're two ginormous parent companies for a lot of different brands and because those two um, test on animals a lot of people say well if something like Urban Decay, who I believe is owned by L'Oreal, or Too Faced, who is owned by Estee Lauder, they're not technically cruelty free because money is from those brands is going to um, fund the parent company, which that that is an argument. I don't necessarily agree with it, but you know, this is not for me to sway you either way. I just kind of wanted to start a conversation and give you guys like your options basically so you don't feel like it's either yes or no there's always gray area um, for most people anyway now as far as a brand being completely cruelty free that means their parent company and them do not test on animals if it's partially cruelty free which some people might say is not cruelty free depends on which circles you run in um, that will be what I just explained where the parent company is not necessarily cruelty free but the children child companies I guess you can call them we're gonna call them that for the purposes of this video they would be um, they would technically be cruelty free even though the parent company is not um, and now we get to the part where NARS apparently effed up if you've seen anything going on um, in the last couple weeks on social media. But NARS has decided to sell in the Chinese market. Now, most people would not give a crap about that. The part that people are bothered by is that the Chinese government, if you're importing any kind of goods, 
um, to be sold uh, to the Chinese people as far as, I, I know for sure beauty and um, skincare products, not so sure about the rest of it, like food, food I just, I don't know. But that's not what I'm talking about, we're talking about beauty. But if any beauty product is to be sold in the Chinese market, some places say if they're uh, manufactured outside of China, some places say that if they're just, it doesn't matter if they're sold in China, that they will be tested on animals as per the government. It wouldn't be the brand that's testing on animals, it would be the government. Now obviously some people have problems with that, especially when you, you go on social media. They ain't happy. And it's, it's kind of a double-edged sword because on the one hand, the Chinese market is huge. You think we're crazy about beauty? Asians got that locked <laughs> down pat. Um, but there is a lot of money and a lot of room for growth for brands in the Chinese market. The only problem is the animal testing that's required by law. Um, they don't say that every single product that's brought in is going to be tested, whatever. But they do say that um, they can just pick a product off the shelf, go in and test it on a rabbit or whatever. How are they? I don't know exactly how they do it. I don't want to know. Um, but they can go and test it on an animal. Now, most brands, um, most of the bigger brands anyway, they tend to not be cruelty free in the sense that their parent company is um, is not cruelty free because they sell in the Chinese market, ne necessarily that they themselves test on animals but because of that. Um, so that's why a lot of brands kind of fall into that kind of gray space where you're, you're technically not, you know, cruelty, you're, you're technically not the one testing on animals, but your parent company is. It's kind of like if your uncle's a Nazi and everybody's just looking at you like, well, why didn't, why, why don't you like do something about that? I don't know. Um, and then you have brands, I don't think there's many of them though, that just straight up test on animals. I don't believe there's many of those, but you never know. You never know what's going on. But um, the real thing is, whether you care about something being completely cruelty-free, partially cruelty-free, you don't care at all, it's still good to know what's going on with these companies as far as what they're doing with your beauty products. Because at the end of the day, it's your money. You know, you have a say where your money goes. So if you decide that like a lot of people have um, that are completely cruelty free they have decided that they will no longer be supporting NARS because of this move um, and this happened a while ago with Urban Decay too when they briefly, very briefly sold in the Chinese market but because of the backlash they actually pulled out so that's why they're back to being cruelty free So basically I just made this video because I want you guys to be informed and you kind of decide how you want to spend your money you know, because at the end of the day, a company might not listen to 800 signatures on a piece of paper, but they damn sure will listen when their profits tank. And that goes for anything. If you don't agree with somebody, um, and they're a business, the easiest way you can get them to listen is to take your dollars away. Um, but that is it for this video. If you're wondering why I'm naked face, that's because I had... I've been up since 4.30 this morning, and I'm tired. <laughs> I've got like 800 other things to do. But, um, yeah, that's all I got for this video. I'll have a more fun, like, makeup tutorial thing tomorrow. So, be on the lookout for that. It should be up, like, later in the evening. I don't know anymore. Uh, but I will have another episode of Makeup Rules over here for you guys. To enjoy and down there somewhere will be a video um, that you'll probably like so go ahead and check that out let me know in the comments down below what uh, what your guys stance is on cruelty free whether you're completely partially don't care let me know 
I like having these kind of discussions with you guys. And don't forget to subscribe to see what comes out of my channel next. Give me a thumbs up, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.